dear first semester with your students i welcome you all into my channel again hope you are all doing well and hope you are preparing for your upcoming papers today i am with the super important questions of your subject elements of electrical engineering uh, subject code is b triple uh, e one zero three or two zero three so let me discuss over here the scoring package first of all we will take the modules which are scoring in which you can easily grab 20 marks by this much portion so module fifth is the scoring module easily you can grab 20 marks right so first of all what is earthing and with a neat diagram explain pipe earthing this is frequently asked question in the video examination and what is tariff and explain two part tariff write down desirable characteristics of tariff uh, write short notes on fuse and miniature, miniature uh, circuit breaker mcb or sometimes they will ask you the diagram for these fuse and mcb with a neat circuit diagram explain the operation of rccb and uh, what is earthing and with a neat diagram explain plate earthing what is electric shock write a short note on precautions against electric shock this is again a super important question explain the necessity and the operation of earth leakage circuit breaker and define unit used for consumption of electric energy list out the power rating of household appliances including air conditioners pcs laptops and printers find total power consumer so these eight questions if you are covering from the model fifth you can easily get 20 marks okay make sure these questions should be at your utmost priority coming to another scoring module which is module fourth in which you have to go through these questions like with a neat wiring diagram and truth table explain two-way and three-way control of lamp this is a super important question which most of the times which is asking and also for your lab exams this question is most important one with a neat diagram explain working of a mega and discuss different types of wiring list the advantage and disadvantage of wooden casing and capping wiring with a neat diagram explain working principle of wheatstone bridge with a neat diagram explain the principle of kelvin's double bridge most important one mention the difference between current transformer and potential transformer seventh one we have explained the construction of maxwell's bridge and derive the expression for unknown inductance last one we have write a short notes on domestic wiring this is all about your module fourth now coming to module first which is again a scoring module state and explain ohm's law and what are its limitations state and explain faraday's law of electromagnetic induction derive an expression for energy stored in inductor and also state and explain kirchhoff's laws and lenz law and define the coefficient of coupling and find its relation with l1 l2 and m uh, briefly discuss about uh, magnetic flux magnetic flux density magneto motive force right a sixth question we are having here similarities between electric and magnetic circuits seventh one we have state uh, fleming's right hand rule and uh, fleming's left hand rule derive an expression for dynamically induced emf okay so you have to practice some numericals from the module first also so that you can grab 20 marks okay especially on the kirchhoff's law okay so so these are eight theoretical questions from your module first and make sure you will practice uh, numericals from previous year question papers which will be available on my instagram account right so coming to module second we have here show that the power consumed in a pure capacitive circuit is zero with the help of voltage current and power waveforms define average and rms values of sinusoidal voltage also derive the respective expressions for these uh, average and rms value show that voltage and current in pure resistive circuit is in phase with each other also derive the equation for power consumed Fourth one we have define power factor, draw the vector diagram showing the power factor angle for different loading conditions. Fifth one we have define root mean square value. We have already I think discussed it. Yes, define RMS and average value I discussed it. So it is for here the alternating current and derive the equation for RMS value in terms of maximum value. Show that in a pure inductor the current lags behind the voltage by 90 degree. Also draw the voltage and current waveforms. Seventh one we have derived an equation for power consumed by an RL series circuit. Draw the waveform of voltage current and power derive the relation between v and i when ac is applied to rlc series circuit draw phasor diagrams these are all theoretical questions from your module second and make sure you will practice numericals from previous year question papers if you are convenient next one we have module third list the advantage of three phase ac system or sometimes they will ask you uh, the advantage of three phase ac system or single phase ac system so don't be confused uh, the question is same you have to simply write down the advantages uh, with a circuit and a phasor diagram show that two watt meters are sufficient to measure three phase power most important one in a three phase star connection find the relation between line and phase values of current and voltages also derive the equation for three phase power and fourth one we have obtained the relationship between line and phase values of voltage and current in a balanced three phase delta connected system fifth one we have defined the following terms with respect to three phase supply that is line current line voltage phase current phase voltage 
total three phase power uh, with the help of a circuit diagram sixth one we have explained the following terms with respect to three phase system one is the phase sequence balanced supply and balanced load and for numericals you can refer the previous year question papers if you want to score more than 80 marks in this particular subject elements of electrical engineering so this is all about your super important questions of this particular subject b triple e one zero three or two zero three so make sure you will cover these questions as early as possible then later on try to cover uh, the numerical part uh, so that you can score good in the subject and uh, you can cross 90 marks okay so i wish you all the best for your examinations dear make sure you will share this video to all your batchmates and friends who are struggling with the subject thank you